<laughs> what up? What up? Hello, what up? Buffalo fanatics. <laughs> Yo, Pierre. Hey, Pierre's, hey. Pierre's down from his, Pierre's down. <laughs> Did you just sing to me? That was me. <laughs> Y'all feeling nice today? Hey, look at you guys. Hey guys. Hey. Hey man. I mean, I mean, how are you feeling though? <laughs> Listen. That's the main I, I thing. Feel, I, feel, I feel vindicated. Is what I feel. Okay. I like it. I feel vindicated. Interesting. Really? Why do you say interesting? Because um, interesting? bring it, know. bring it. Because I'm uh, feeling it right now. Why do you feel interesting? Because I, I can explain I myself. Mean, why I feel vindicated. I think you felt some type of way about Cook for a long <laughs> time now. But a positive. And you thing know what? About- like we not no fake fans over here though. Just because yep. my man doing okay. It ain't time to jump on the train. Oh, don't start with me. <laughs> you should have been on that don't train. Start with me. Don't start with me, kid. Don't start with me. Listen, <laughs> let me let me explain something to you guys so you guys understand it. Actually, I don't got to explain shit to you guys. I've made it very clear. I want a run game that is good. The last time we had a damn run game that was where you could say, like, you know what? We can count on that was LaShawn McCoy. That was the last time. That's a long time ago now. My, mother, that, my man hasn't played football, what, in two, three years now? Like quality, quality was more than that. Three, four years, quality freaking football. So now we had a performance today that you can say, hold on now. Maybe we can count on this guy for sure. And you know what really made me sit on that? DeAndre Swift had 28 carries for a for buck 75. And it's not like my man can't can't whip the ball around. You know what I'm saying? Hurts, Hurts can can he can throw the ball around. He's got Brown as a receiver. He's got D, he's got Smith as a receiver. It's not like he doesn't have it. They can throw the ball all day. But they said, you know what? We're gonna give you the rock and keep going. Then I start thinking to myself, why can't they do it with James Cook? They could. And today we got a glimpse of it. So now we just need to see more of it. And I'm I'm I feel great because now. Yo, like, Bobby, hold on, man, 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 Fuck y'all, this man. This guy is trying hard as hell to backtrack right now. No backtrack. Like, oh, I'm on. No, no, it's documented. Listen to me, because last week it was never about oh we need to use him more. Why are we not? You no, no. Your hate was his actual play. You weren't a fan of him as the actual player, big fella. I'm trying to convince you that dog. Last week, it's the Jets defense. They're expected to hold down the run. Like how we held down the run today, held it, damn, big fella. I think your man Jacobs had what negative? No, no, you the stats man. Did he have negative yards? Negative, negative, That's negative. Wild. So yeah, I mean, it's, it's, it's man. Listen, big, huge shout out to James Cook today. Just an overall, a monster game by his ass, dude. But this is this is we. Why don't we do this all the time? Like we have him. Like keep giving the ball, man. He was he was actually warming up. I've I've always said this when we had uh, Devin Singletary. They used to get Devin Singletary going, and then they just stop. And they said, no, 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 we got Josh Allen. Let Josh Allen do this. Today was it was it showed me it was like Josh, you ain't got to do everything, man. Back. Just play within what we ask you to do, and let these guys do what they do. And it was it was clear as shit today. Loved it. Right. He, it we just gotta keep it up. I mean, you have to give a little bit of credit to Dorsey too, or a lot of a lot of credit. Because I mean, honestly, like that Raiders defense was on their toes the whole game. They did, they really didn't know what was coming. I like how Dorsey had this exact same game plan as last week. Let's dink it and dunk it, and let's leave out here with a win. But the only difference is that if you don't make any mistakes, we're capable of putting up thirty, almost forty. This is this beautiful offense that I'm seeing right now. I'll say for the last two or three years, I knew exactly how Josh was going to play almost every down. Every single down, I know, okay, this is what he's going to do now. This is what he's going to do now. But now I was like, wait a minute. Oh, he's checking down now? Ooh, this is the check down guy. I like this guy. I like him. You, you know what I think? It's because Dorsey said, fucking trust me. Like, you asked for me to be here, so fucking trust me. Stop trying to do what Josh Allen does. I bet you he got, a, he, he got some kind of talking. Yo, trust me. You were trusting me in that Jets game, and then you decided to do what the fuck you wanted to do. Look what it got us. You like that? Do you like when the Buffalo Fanatics get on your ass? You like when when Bills Mafia was all over your ass, all over social media? You like that shit? You like when Nick Wright is actually right? Man, cut it out, man. Just listen to me and trust me, and everything's going to work out, and I'll take care of the rest. You feel me? And if I fuck up, then you know what? Blame my ass, but trust me, you're going to do well. And look what happened today. 
Because it was like you said, it was the same game plan. This time, Josh didn't get in the fucking way. Like, isn't it nice? Fuck, no turnovers, man. And it just pisses me more off the fact that those turnovers, bro, we had the game. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That was my whole point last week. I'm like, yes, it looked bad on, <laughs> on, on paper. It looked horrible. But it actually wasn't because it's like, yo, it's the same thing we did this week, but just no turnovers. That's what's frustrating. We could have easily won last week. The same will be won this week. Yo, Shame. Bobby, did you did you send a message to Spencer Brown or something? Did you what did you did you send him a Venmo and and then you gave him a little something? Like what happened? What'd you say to him to you like make him play the way he played today? <laughs> I'll tell you what I I heard you talking about Spencer Brown in the post game, and I'm not ready to give him all that credit. Oh, I'm not ready. <laughs> all game long, he had help. Tight end was chipping all, all game long. That's true. So I, I'm not ready to give Spencer Brown the credit that he can he can man up versus a top DN talent. He probably can't because we did see a couple times Max Crosby spin moving all the way around him. You saw that, right? Into the yep. backfield. Yeah, I'm, I'm not ready to give him all the credit, but he did he did look better, I guess. I mean... It's hard to say that when you have so much help, but now, I think Torrance struggled a little bit too. I was I was so focused on Spencer Brown to seeing how he was going to deal with obviously Max Crosby mm-hmm. and crickets out of Max Crosby. He didn't really do much, but there was some help. There was some support um, all day long. But there, it, but I mean, listen, we're in twelve personnel, so it was, it's going to be that way. If you're double teaming a guy, should He's you really get the credit for having a great game? Hey. As long as you're not saying my name, we good. <laughs> Just don't That's say true. my name all week talking about Spencer Brown some shit. Just but it, it, goes through, it goes to what Bobby was saying. You got to give credit to Ken Dorsey because sure. Ken Dorsey schemed that up. Ken Dorsey says, all right, I saw that your limitations. <laughs> I know and what you can do. I know what you can't do. And, and Red uh, actually with- pointed out pregame too. You know, Q shout out to him because he mentioned it all week. He was like, yo, I think that they're going to have Knox helping out on Spencer Brown. And let Kincaid do his thing. And that's exactly what happened today. Mm-hmm. So has has Dawson been relegated to the blocking tight end? And we're gonna forget <laughs> about how athletic he is and he can actually get downfield and do those things. Are we gonna forget about that? I hope they don't just relegate him to just some kind of blocking tight end and sparingly will throw you the football because the boy can still get down, he can still get busy. But uh yeah, that's, that's, the, that's the way the offense is gonna be. Though. He's not Kincaid. So if we needed you to be Tommy Sweeney, big fella, just go ahead and be Tommy. <laughs> you go, you're going to be yeah, Tommy man. Sweeney, bitch. Yeah. We got Kincaid. We good. Yo, what's up? What's up with, with uh, Latavius Murray getting more carries? I mean, it was, it was, I mean, I want to say no more, more carries. They seem to be on the even, even scale, but it seems as though Latavius is RB2 rather than Damian Harris being RB2. Unless there is no RB2, it's just RB1 and then the rest of the guys. Mm, yeah. I mean, I think he just had. A nice carry early so you know you stick by what's hot right sure. so he got a little he got his little run and later on harris got his little run went back to cook i think for cook we're expecting him i know rico is we're expecting him to run a certain you know style where i mean that's just not who cook is right i called him floyd medweather today on stream he's the guy that looked I'm all about hitting and not getting hit, big fella, right? I don't want you to touch me. I'm trying to run around you and do my thing that way. And, I mean, he's been pretty solid doing that very thing. Gabe Davis stepping his game up today. And I I wasn't expecting it until, like, quietly. This guy almost had 100 yards today. Really? Mm. Yo, he had 96 yards receiving today on (laughs) six carries. Stats, stats, man. We need them stats real quick. Yeah, I'm going to get that for you right now. I'm like, what? Jeez. Six for 92, 15 yards of pop and a touchdown. That's solid. Off of seven targets. That's solid. Like, yo, what kind of conversation you think is going down? Like, after like after that game, right? I was watching, the, I was listening to um, the Raw the raw Room podcast. I don't know if you know the Raw Room podcast. And it was uh, Darren Bates is a, is a special, he was a linebacker, special teams guy. Now he's got his own podcast with Jamie Collins. Was it James Collins? Collins. I can't remember his name. Anyway, and they were talking about when a team loses and what the what the what the what the bus ride be like or the plane ride be like. And he says, Don't let coach catch you like 
kiki ki ha 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 because they will rip you a new one so i'm thinking to myself you're on the plane ride or the bus ride home from new jersey yo what kind of atmosphere is on that bus and like is josh on his own or is he like all right yo next game yo we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that like i wonder because i'm looking i'm like yo seven receptions then you got kid don can kid at five like where like where was this last week i guess that's what i'm trying to find out like what why couldn't we just and the answer goes back to Josh Allen. That's what it comes back down to. I can't, there's no way about it, man. Just come back to this guy. Shit, getting in your own damn way. Golly, but yo, I'm telling you right now, man, I was extremely impressed with, with the defense holding Josh Jacobs down. What the, what the hell stats? happened? I need the numbers. I need the numbers because we've been hearing, oh, we got to stop the run defense. Bro, the run defense is some trash. The freaking Raiders. They ran for 55 yards total off of 15 carries, 3.7 yards of pop. But here's the big thing. They had one huge run of 35 yards on that, on that reverse. I think it was the reverse by yeah. Trey Tucker, right? That was it. Like that was it. I don't want to say take that away, but like 34 yards, fam, they didn't do fuck all, man. They're 25 yards rushing. No, yo, Rico, like go ahead and say it, big fella. Say what I want you to say. What, what, you, fuck, you, what the fuck you want me to say? What Josh Jacobs have? You over here giving them yards. Oh, oh my God. <laughs> Yo, but honestly, jo Josh Jacobs, nine carries for minus two yards. Oh, minus two yards. Bro, they neutralized Josh Jacobs. They neutralized. Listen, every time Josh Jacobs touched the ball, it was a swarming. There was no room for him to do anything. And he was one of the, the best, if not the best, the best at yards after contact. After contact, that's that's Josh Jacobs. That's his lane. He had nothing, bro. Eric Washington, yo, he had these boys ready. He had these boys prepared. Are we gonna? Are, are we giving credit? I mean, it's it's, so, it's way too soon. But is there credit to be given to the type of defense this team is playing right now under McDermott? Is there a difference in what you see from McDermott as opposed to Leslie Frazier? Or is it the same shit? Because we're always we're always a fucking tight defense. Unless you see, I really don't think so. In, you don't think so? No, I don't. I don't think there's much difference. I mean, I think honestly, I thought about that today, and I was like, God damn, this looks like the same defense. Was was Frazier even the coach? I honestly thought that today. So it's funny you bring that up, but I mean, we've seen at times, even in the past couple of years, that. You know, when the Bills defense really wants to, they can stop top rushers. We've seen this. So it's not too much of a surprise, I don't think. But um, I mean, they definitely it's got after it. And you'll be you'll be surprised how many be forgetting. Hey, Rico, hey, how many be forgetting? Yeah. Last week against the Dan Jets. Okay. I mean, Brees had some nice yards. The optics look real good. The optics look beautiful. <laughs> you know what? You know, optics, speaking of optics, I have but I have really, some people which is, which is which is stupid optics. <laughs> I got something to pick with you with your stupid optics. What, what the what the fuck was this today? If you're a homer, <laughs> type it in the chat. <laughs> hey, homer! <laughs> type it in the chat if you're a homer and you got every boy. You know what that was, though, Rico? It's because whenever any fan wants to live in the positive space knowing that we're a solid team, it's People like you that be trying to shit on them saying, well, they're going to be 40 points a game. No, it's, <laughs> oh, we're nice as hell, big fella. What the hell? Are we seeing the same team? It's like I'm always having to convince someone that our team is great. And I'm glad that mm. today Josh Allen allowed us to not have to have that debate for at least a week. I mean, you, you to the point, I even saw Bobby typing in Homer in the chat. I was like, yeah, what? I was Bobby's a homer too? We wrote it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's your turn, Rico. Go ahead and say it real quick. Homer, go ahead and say it one time. Heck no, I know. Listen, and it's up to me. <laughs> it's up to me to remind people that, hey, this is the NFL. You can root for your team, but just don't get delusional. The problem is but there are some delusional fans out there that believe that we're just going to go 17 and 0. But why though? But why seven, do seven, we have seven, to, seven, <laughs> why do we have to always be on some wait, wait? I I love the blessings, but just don't give it to me too much because like because you know what people just true. get out of the out, outlandish the Bills fans just get too much. Like, wasn't there someone today? Like 
I know we're in an emotional fan base. We're an emotional fan base. We sure are. And when people have the control to write whatever they want to write, they just say some wild shit. And they do. And somebody today, this person will remain nameless, talked about, and it was re- it's pre- it's premature to even say this, but <laughs> they said, yo, Latavius Murray is looking better at running back than James Cook. Folks, don't get too, too into your emotional feelings on shit. Let certain shit play out. My gosh. like th- I say some outlandish shit, but I would never say some outlandish shit like that. Unless I'm talking about Nate Peterman, but everybody knows it's a running gag. But that's it. <laughs> Yo, some shit be wild out there, man. Some shit be fucking wild. It's too much for me. So when you when you feed it, hey everybody, hey have a shot, hey, it's like it's great, I love it. And then when I when I bring people back down to reality, be like, hey, hey, hey calm down, because <laughs> like everyone is like the Bills are gonna beat the Jets. It's like guys, we're gonna lose this one. It's just it's just. It's just gonna happen. I just yo, yo, why. Rico was happy as yeah. hell. He was right, Bobby. He was ha- yo, he happy as hell. He's right about that week one. He was happy last week. <laughs> I didn't, didn't want to say I, I didn't want to say I told you so, but it was more so like everybody calm the fuck down. Like I know you guys get excited and you guys expect us to win, which is great because for the longest time we were never expected to win shit. So I guess that's what's nice. I think this is where Pierre comes in because we were we're not expected to win shit for so long. Now that we're winning, he's like, I ain't letting this feeling go. Oh, we go with everything every damn day. But again, exactly. Rock. Yeah, that's exactly how I feel. <laughs> I don't even have to elaborate on that because it's like, look, it just is what it is. We have that guy at the major position where I knew. You know what the hardest part about the drought was, Richard? Was the fact that I knew it didn't matter what we did. It didn't matter all the things that we added on the roster and had the nice defense. If we did not have that quarterback, it just didn't matter. And the fact that we actually had that guy, that's why I love every year. It's, it's listen, undefeated every year, <laughs> right? Because we got that guy. It just is what it is. Let me ask you this. All this, like, I mean, aside from the Bills right now, aside from the Bills, real quick. Tua and the Dolphins. Yo, they're scary. I ain't going to front. And what we saw today was encouraging. Now, okay, we can put the clamps down. We can neutralize one part of their offense. So they're going to have to do something else. But, like, with this Dolphins game coming up, and you got Tua just dotting 466 yards on the, on the Chargers, it was not a bad defense. I'm looking forward to seeing how this plays out when we play the Bills because it's a matchup thing, right? Speed. Speed, speed, speed. And we haven't faced the speed yet this year. I mean, there was no speed on uh, Devontae Adams. Like, I mean, much respect to Devontae Adams. But, like, nah, it ain't it. Garrett Wilson's nice, but nah, it ain't it. I mean, next week, I don't know who. I mean, you, you're you from Virginia, so you know who's on the, on, the, on the commanders. But after McLaurin and Dotson, that's not much speed, guys, right there. But, like, is there they a got Logan Thomas. Like, They got Logan Thomas, who's their number one tight end. I don't know. I don't know <laughs> if we match. Do we match up well against the Dolphins? You hear this guy? No. He already got us uh, locked in for that L. You hear <laughs> that, right? He's already ready. That's, that's, give us the edge. No. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's why I don't like that question because that's a weird question, man. It's not a weird question. How do, how, how do we match up? How do they match up with us? Thank you. You know? Thank you. What we we split last season, right? Why don't you grow? Why don't you grow up here and answer it? Answer it. Don't 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 shy away from it. How do we match up? Do we match up well? Is it a good matchup for us? And that's Listen, what I'm saying. Not at all. I think it still comes down to the optics, right? We think that the Dolphins are nice because of how they were nice in Week One, right? I mean, they play tonight. You know, we're going to see what they're going to do tonight. You know what I mean? And if they can repeat the performance, then it's probably like, okay, this might be a thing, right? But I have to, I have to really, really see. Did the Chargers win today? I'm not too too sure. I think they lost, if I'm not mistaken. They lost, it's like, man. Oh, and two. Right. So, are the Chargers that team, or is the Dolphins? You know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, so, yeah exactly. Out of the last 13 games, I think we won 10 of them bitches. So, I think we match up pretty well overall against these damn Dolphins. I think they're <laughs> trying to catch up to us at the end of the day. I like, like that, right? I like it that. There you like, go. It, it looks like they have turned the corner and caught up, but we still beat your asses. Twice last year. <laughs> so remember who we could stick for. 
you know, defensive end Jalen Phillips. Mm. Monster. You know, in both matchups last season, he was killing Spencer Brown. So that's another one where you, you're you going to have to dedicate a tight end chip every that's play. True. Not only not only we have to get dedicated tight end chip, then you got Chubb on the other side. And then you got Christian. Look at look at Pierre shaking his head. Wait, you. That's true. The scrub? They got a pretty solid. No, no, I'm tagging. They got a solid squad. <laughs> they do. Yeah. I, I, I was going to attack Pierre right now. Oh, 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 who'd you go say? But <laughs> I, I brought it up for a reason. I brought it up because. Because. Uh, when you 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 know the, the Colin Cowherds, all the all the social fucking media and all the all the you know I me mean, the ESPNs the Stephen A Smiths all the what the fuck are they gonna say this week? This is what I'm interested in hearing what they got to say. Like, is it gonna be more like are they gonna sweep everything they said under the rug by saying, "Well, it's about time. This is what we expected from the Bills," or that was a fluke win. It was just the Raiders. The Raiders ain't shit. Wait till you face a. Are, are they gonna? Are they gonna start? Are they gonna show? The, are they gonna show the trust again? I guess is what I'm trying to get to. Because yeah. there was a lot of these guys. They were piling on the bills. Even to I, me, I was like, okay, that's a lot. That's a lot of piling on. So it I makes me wonder, what like, gonna do. what? I think what, what they're gonna, what are they do gonna do say this time is is the same thing you did when talking about James Cook, right? You're going to figure out a way to kind of correlate and be like, this is what I was waiting for. I was waiting for us to use him more. We need to use him more. Instead of just saying, <laughs> okay, I was wrong. <laughs> My bad. <laughs> okay, <laughs> he's him. And let's go ahead and ride. That's exactly what the national media is going to do with Josh Allen. Trust him to do that. Because I'll tell yeah. you, man, there was, there was some harsh things that these guys were saying, man, like this. Maybe like they can they be trusted? Because the biggest one was like, can they can Josh Allen be trusted? So like you clearly got a great glimpse of a bounce back and showing that this guy can be trusted. Now what? I guess it's like, what's the narrative gonna be this week with the Bills? That's that's what I'm waiting for. What kind of narrative is gonna be put out there for the Bills? The Bills found a run game, no wonder, or maybe it's gonna be like that. Or Sean McDermott was feeling the heat, so he you never know, man. There's going to be ways that they're going to create some shit. So I'm looking forward to seeing it. But I'm going to tell you right now. Yeah. Man, I look forward to hearing the Stephen A. Smiths, the Colin Cowherds, the Nick Wrights. I mean, Nick Wright ain't going to really say shit because they just they barely won today. 17-9 against the Jacksonville Jaguars, which is a good team still. But it's going to be it's going to be interesting to see what social media is. I mean, those, those big national media guys got to say because right now the Bills shut everybody up today. I really think it's going to be quiet. I really think that. And especially like the, the national media coverage, I think it will shift to the Bengals and Burrow. Oh, and Burrow's, right. They just lost two in a row. And Ooh, I lost. think he's hurt a little bit. In the division. He tweaked oh. his calf again. Mm. So that's going to be a big story. That's going to be a story the whole week. So the Bills will go under the radar again? <laughs> exactly. Yep. And it's going to be you know, the 0-2 Chargers and the 0-2 Bengals. That's actually smart for the media to do that, right? Because instead of admitting that you're wrong, let's not talk about it. All right, let's just uh, – uh, oh, I didn't even see what they did. Oh, okay, cool, cool, cool. Watch, that's exactly what's about to go down. And, and here's the thing too, right? So they will forget about it, and then there are some, some Bills fans that don't forget about it, and they will hit up such, you know what I mean, national media cast. Like, yo, so what about our Bills now? What you got to say about our Bills now? And then now we're going to look like sensitive Bills fans. Like we're sensitive. We we just can't get over things, man. Just get over. And that's what we're going to look like. I, I just know it because a lot of guys are like, no, we're not going to figure about that shit. You've been talking shit about my team and now I'm going to get on your ass. Yo, yo, we're on to the next thing. Look at the charges. They're 0-2. Bills, you guys are fine now. You know what I mean, you guys got to win. You're off the radar for now until we get it back on your ass. Now it's about the charges and the Bengals. <laughs> you just see it's coming. You just see it. <laughs> But I'm going, but like going 0 2 in your conference, in your that's division, big. that's big. That's, that's huge. Massive. That's why, like, this was a big game for us to win. We just, there was no room for margin to lose and go 0 2, especially now, 0 2 division. That's too tough. Not facts. Now, as far as the offense, though, how are you? Were you guys a fan of the offense or you guys think that there should be something else that we should probably be doing? It definitely wasn't sexy. It definitely wasn't like, oof. Yo, that offense is humming right now. That shit is that shit is moving. It wasn't sexy whatsoever. Like we were just taking what the defense was giving us. At one point, Josh at halftime, 
was 18 for 21. It was like 87% completion percentage, but he only had a buck 40, nice. like a buck 42. But we we're up 20, what, 21 to 7 or something like that? 21 10? We're up 21 10. It's like, all right, we're up 21 10, but it's like Josh only has like 140 yards. So what kind of game is this going to be? Is it going to be like a 200, 220 yard game? And even then, 220 yards, you average that over, you know what I mean, the, the, the span of the season. That's pretty damn decent. Um, but yeah, it's gonna be it's gonna be criticized as it was it was dink and dunk, and they're and here's the way they're gonna look at it too, dink and dunk, and because Allen Allen is not seeing things, so they're just trying to, he's trying to protect Allen from himself. That's yeah. what it's gonna fucking be. Dor- Dorsey knows that Allen can can do too much, and he Bounce. wants to go downfield all the time, so he's reining him in, and he, he's he's taking I guess I guess creative control from Allen and saying stick to the script. Because he's trying to protect Allen from himself. Buddy, I already see it. He write the fucking article right now because that's exactly what he's going to talk about. <laughs> Allen, Allen, like Dorsey took the tr- took the reins and, and can't trust him. So you know what? Let me help you. Here's what you need to do. And it worked out. So they're going to spin it into a positive. But the negative will be, yo, you if, you if he gets out of control, he becomes week one Josh Allen. But Josh Allen in control and with Dorsey... I mean, reining him in, this is the product you're going to get. No deep shots from Josh Allen. Because what? How many deep shots did he take this game? One. Who was it to? It was that, it was that pass interference in the end zone of Diggs. Oh, Early. the pass interference. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, you're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. You're right. Oh, wow. That was it. That was it. Right. It's unlike us to watch him play like this. I was weirded out a few times. Like, wait a minute. He's going for the sticks. Oh, we checked it down. Wow. Wait a minute. Who is this guy? Did so, you like it? Yeah. Did you see that one play where he um he pump faked really hard and then he took the check down? Yes, that was the play. <laughs> I, was I actually like that. I actually shit. that one. Yeah, so I mean, I think he's he's definitely has last week in the back of his head, and who knows like how much of the Raiders defense played into that again? Well, probably kind of emulating the the Jets defense. You know what it had me thinking about was what you said last week, Bobby. When it comes down to you. You really don't want to have teams, you know, playing at their best er, you mean early in games. I mean, yeah, I was big. Right? In the season. Mm-hmm. But I'm going to kind of reference it this way. It's almost like what the Bills are doing is they're setting up the run in order to pass. Right? Whereas they're dinking and dunking early in the season in order for teams to think, oh, okay, this is what the Bills are now. Then – you know, towards the later part of the season, that's when Josh starts opening back up again. Unleash Josh. It's it's going to be interesting, man. It's definitely See, going to be I, interesting. I, I said something similar to that uh, earlier today, and it was a matter of just trust my system. I want you to get used to my system. Yes, I like so that. Once you're used to taking what the defense is giving you, your, your situational awareness, because you were bringing up last week, your situational awareness will say, all right, I'm the game is slowing down. I see what they're doing. Pop, there goes that deep ball that you wanted. Yep. So you can still be Josh Allen, but just trust me, it'll come. And then once the time is ready to strike, you strike. But you are ready to strike all the time. You yep. don't need that. This is the NFL. We got 17 weeks of this bitch. So let's chill the fuck out. Yeah. And a lot of what you just said, I feel like it. I was thinking that uh, as well. So I very- think Josh Allen, he has to go about it like this. Dorsey. I'll give it to you. No problem. Once it don't work, and we all know at that moment where we know, okay, we need something different. Now it's on me. I'm going to go ahead and break the glass, and now it's on me, big fella. That's what I think it should be going forward. If it's working, Josh, stick it to the damn script, big fella, if it's working. If it ain't working, okay, then I'll be totally fine with you, you know, doing all the things, even if you mess up. That's what how it has to happen. If you do not stick it to the script and you fuck up, it's on you, big fella. It's on you. And I think that that's what Josh has to be able to learn. Yo, Bobby, do you, do you feel like Josh trusts his line? It's hard to say because, I mean, Josh Allen, he'll stand in the pocket no matter what. You know, usually if you don't trust your line, you're going to be jittery. Your feet get moving, right? You know, he, he does that kind of at the last minute when he has to. So... I can't imagine that he would trust his line, right? 
Why would he? Because I'm the reason I asked you that question. Because like you're the you're the resident O lineman. You know what I mean? We need the we need the the eyes. And you mentioned earlier that Torrance didn't have that great a game. So I'm like, what yeah. what the hell did you see that made you say, "Ooh, okay"? Was he slow to like I mean, he react? Was, he was just getting pushed into the backfield, right ah, okay. into his lap. Again, I mean, it's it's tough to say because Josh Allen is that type of quarterback that will that will sit back there no matter what. You know, it really doesn't matter. It's like it's like when you say LaShawn McCoy doesn't need an O line. Josh Allen kind of doesn't need an O line. <laughs> that's he fact, does, but <laughs> yeah, it's know, a similar comparison. Well, that's a, that's the case right now. So, like this this week with this win is 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 massive. <clears throat> so now you just it's about to pushing on to freaking next next game. See how that freaking plays out, man. Yo, I'm happy as hell right now. I, I'm over here smiling the whole damn show because I know we're not going to be pushing whack ass narratives all week because we're just mad, <laughs> right? We're mad. Yo, we all hate losses, but mm. it's like. I mean, some take the losses a little extra, extra. Like, okay, it was bad. But if you put everything in the context, it wasn't as bad as what the world made it seem. Like the damn sky is falling. We got damn, we got stats with uh with the Patriots quarterback. Um Mac Jones. Last, yeah, fucking Mac Jones, the last 10 games. Look at the stats. Come on, big fella. Yeah, it's knock like, it off. Let's go back. To, let's let's that, go back to the last four years. Fuck off. Yeah, exactly. I'm yeah. glad that Josh <laughs> Allen was able to have a game. Or the Bills in general was able to have a game where we can just you know shut everybody up and let everybody know, okay, chill, chill, chill. We're still that team. Side side note, side note, Buffalo, Buffalo aside. Actually, we're gonna stick with the same Buffalo. Yo, the Colorado Buffalo. Yes. Yo, what, what mm -hmm. is Dion doing too much? No, is it too much, or is it just right <laughs> for college football? Yo, when I'm seeing Lil Wayne. And I'm seeing Master P is in the locker room. I'm like, yo, this is too much. I thought it was too mm -hmm. much. I was like, because if you be lose, discussion. you got to explain this. Yo, we lost because we're focused, man. Like, what the Ed, But they pull out the win. That's the key. It yeah. works if you win. <laughs> and they won. Now, again, I think Dion is changing the fucking game, big fella. He's changing everything. Every coach is like, oh, shit. In a couple years, <laughs> he's about to get every recruit because everyone wants to see The Rock and Lil Wayne. And, they and see that. They're they like, yo, I want to see that too. I'm going there. <laughs> I'm going there. Because <laughs> when you think yeah. about it, though, when you if you're a young high schooler, you're like, yo, like I, I, I like that. Like, yo, Dion's going to be there for years. And he keeps telling, he keeps saying, I ain't going to NFL. So I'm sticking here. So that's like more like, okay. Colorado looks like a place that I want to go. And the fact that he's this guy brought like 86 new freaking players to that squad, like what? And they almost still got beat. <laughs> and I'm not a college guy, first of all. And I know Bobby knows his college Bob Pierre, I think you know you're way more than I do. Like, I don't. if they play the way they're playing, aren't they, aren't they gonna get stomped out by USC? And I, who who else they play? They play two back to Oregon. 98 yard drive. Your boy Shador Sanders had to come through. If you don't mm. come through this drive, yeah. this game over. You're down by eight. 98 yard drive. He came through at the clutch with the two point conversion in the clutch. That right there was big. And Dion said, "I knew for a fact because he's been doing this shit his whole life. I knew for a fact he he wasn't letting pops lose on this one." Yeah, I was like, Go, "Yo, man. that's nuts, man. That's nutty, man." And this guy, <laughs> and well, the thing is, like, there's there's bulletin material, and there's sometimes you just got to shut the fuck up. Like, be quiet. What the fuck was coach thinking? You know, my mom told me to take off your freaking hat and take off your sunglasses when you when you uh when you want to talk and address someone. Man, shut up, man. You know who gave the pregame speech? <laughs> nah. The Colorado pregame speech. Uh, the mama, big fella. You ain't about to leave these boys. Oh, that was the pregame? Yo, the pregame was Dion's mama, big fella. Oh Come on. yo, I don't know what Dion is doing to the game, man, but yo, it's working. It is absolutely working. And the things he's doing right now, he wouldn't be able to do in the NFL. So, like, you can get away with it. And, and you're getting away with it in Colorado. Mm. Colorado is like, yo, we suck for the last forever. So whatever the fuck you need to do and whatever the, whatever Louis baggage you need to bring, bring that bitch. Whatever ghettoness yep. <laughs> you have, 
bring that shit too, yo, man. Fella. Bring it all. You, you know what? I'm, I'm, I'm really curious if you could take that and and do that with a bigger school. I don't know if that would fly with a lot of big schools. I don't think so either. I don't think so, but I have really mixed feelings about this. I know a lot like of people up. are like a lot of people are Deion Sanders fans. Okay. True. And I totally get that. And I am too. But I'll tell you what, I was I was a Buffalo's fan before it was cool. Okay, Colorado is my program. Oh, oh yeah. Hey, you better I believe that. that. <laughs> I got the merch. <laughs> okay. This All right. Go. Buffalo, you better Buffalo. believe that shit. It's going to be interesting to see if Deion Sanders creates an enemy this week for uh, Oregon. Whenever black folk come in and, and they change the game a little bit, <laughs> white, folk, white folk just, just fucking lose their shit. You feel me? Let me I'm just, let me just try to find a find an example. They get nervous. I'm talking. They get nervous about. It. Like like okay. So when Doug Marone, like you know when I, anybody's played ball, if there's a little bit of too much swag on the team, I'll just use my shit as an example. There was a coach that came in. He says, "Yo, no armbands, no this, no nothing, just straight uniform, bullshit, bullshit, fucking boring." And we're all, like the dudes that ball. You know I me mean? when we were younger, you were trying to have all the shit and not look good in the visors. Yo, no visors, no this. What? So like Dion's coming in and saying, no, we going there's no captains. We don't do captains. So now traditional cultures, but like, what do you mean you don't do captains? We have captains. No, no, no. We are dogs and we got leaders. Come we don't on, do captains. Because not everybody's a dog and not everybody's a leader, baby. <laughs> so he he just that's the way he does. So it's not that it's unorthodox, it's just that's Dion. That's who he is. He's bringing that player persona to the coaching realm, and which is just it's just not the same. And now you're bringing it to Colorado. I don't think Colorado's ever had anything like that. Would you play for a coach like this? Let me go ahead and play this real fast. Just to Pete, we brought you here to dominate. Am I right or wrong? Is there anything about me, any sense of life that I give you that I'm not here to dominate? We're not just here to win. We're here to dominate. I don't like the question, what you think the record going to be? Well, shoot, I really want to say we're going to win it all. Because that's the way I think. But that gets controversial. Then I put y'all on the hook. And I don't know if y'all built for that right now. We're going through the summer to see if you built for that. Who built for it? Who built for it? And who built the ride with me? Who built the gift with me? Who built the talk that talk and walk that walk? Who is built like that? I'm built like that. I'm going through the wall right there. I'm telling you, G.I.M. different. He hit different. <laughs> and that's why I'm a fan of his ass, man. It's because it's like, dog, he's bringing a different flavor that he's always been consistent. I was watching, I was showing my little son who ain't never known about Dion how he was drafted. He came and drafted, dripping out, dripping Jane, all talking For about sure. I'm him already. He said, Yo, keep keep the limousine running. I ain't, I'm just running the 40. I'm coming back in the car. Don't, don't, it ain't gonna right? be long. <laughs> so it's the fact that he's always been consistent and he's still the same guy that, I mean, he brings that credibility in. It is what it is. On Twitter, I was joking, but kind of serious about, you know, what if Dion was to come to Buffalo? A couple of years, you never know. What do you think about that? He, he claims he doesn't want to coach in the NFL. Did he uh, say that? I didn't yeah, know. Yeah, he says he says I'm yeah, yeah, he says I'm never I'm I'm never coaching the NFL. And the reason he said that, oh. he's like, how can you coach someone that's got everything? How can you coach someone? I mean, they don't want to listen. Mm. So these college boys, they want to listen. They want to get better. And this, when you make it to the NFL, you can't tell because I think he's he's thinking of himself. Mm -hmm. Like, exactly could Dion coach a player like Dion? <laughs> you know, what I'm saying that that's about. I mean, I don't want to <laughs> say that's about me, but that's that's, that's that personality. And now yeah. you got. 53 of those guys. Are y'all a fan of the Buffalo running the lap on the field? You know, pregame? I fuck like, with that, man. Yeah. You know, the, the Bills should do that. So do some kind of shit like that. Right? Mm -hmm. Get a little Buffalo. Get a little, you know, a little, I don't know, do something, man. Until that motherfucker get loose, and you're like, oh, shit. Oh, we can't get that. You know, trackalize, trackalize, trackalize. Yeah. Get that trackalize and fuck. <laughs> it has oh, to man. be like a liability. Yeah. It, it has to be, be a big liability where... They can't do it at like the professional level. Yo, because imagine there's there's right, no reason for the right. ruler not to do it yet. Imagine they kill Billy on the field pregame, dog, because this motherfucker gonna got wild. Like, oh shit, no, that's not gonna be a good look. <laughs> we we didn't that? talk about Ed Oliver. Oh, go ahead, go ahead. Yo, Edward, I'll add he that had bitch a pretty damn good game. Edward, 
<laughs> Facts, man. Edward first play or second play of the game. He already fucking started that shit. He was cool. He was all over Jimmy Garoppolo, man. You know what, Edward? I say fucking Edward. You got me how you call him Edward, but I like it. I like it. I like it. <laughs> Yo, but Edward has a good game, man. It's Edward, man. Yeah, no, facts. Facts. But it's like he never gives you the numbers, but he does all the things. Right? It's like he's not going to give you the sacks, but he's going to, you know what I mean, have the pressure that's going to allow the damn, you know what I mean, you know, bad things to happen. So Ed Oliver had an amazing game. Amazing game. Golly, dog. Amazing. Game. Yo, Eddie, Eddie was all over yeah. it. He was hungry and they fed off of him, man. Because now Greg Rousseau was trying to feed off of that. That's the thing, man. When these guys ball out, Daquan Jones had a nice play. He had a nice tackle for loss, man. He was, yo, the defense was so damn good against the run today. They did, like, yeah. you don't, if we don't get it, man, the, the O line was the number one, the number one O line in all of football last week in terms of efficiency. And then on top of that, you're going to put Josh Jacobs behind that line? Going up against a suspect suspect defense that allowed over 150 yards rushing last week? Optics. Oh, wait, Optics. Man. True. So Optics. <laughs> they were probably ready to eat and feast today. And Ed Oliver you know, was like, not so today, cool. fam. On those runs, I pointed out on stream, it was so obvious. It was almost like Sean McDermott knew every single run call. He knew it. Oh, they're going to run? All right, pour your blitz. Every time. Every time. And I'm like, okay. So I think Sean McDermott was locked all the way in with his play calling, all the way in, right? I'm going to keep everything in front of me. If anything happens, it's going to be the little fade to the sidelines to Adams. That's all I'm going to give you. And that's it. Huge shout out to the damn Bills, 38 to 10. <laughs> Rico, huge shout out to your boy, James Cook, who absolutely did his. <laughs> Take that sip. I'm going to go ahead and take that shot. <laughs> shots. Take that sip. Yo, I hate the way Pear takes shots, man. Like, you take it so fancy. Why you do got that? You. Got like, to, man. You take it so fancy, man. Yo, drop that thing behind you, man. Just wow. Just take that. Here, my name is yo, take another one, man. Just take another one and take it right. Yeah, it's kind of like chill. I'm going to try to get him to take another shot. <laughs> take another shot and get it right, man. All right. How you want me to do it? How you want me to do it? Take a shot like a man. Just pop. How you, How you doing? How you doing? Pop that man. Just like mm, <laughs> right, just right, your shit. Right, hold on, hold on. I got Come on now. Hold on. Hold on. Who it. does that? Who who sips who sips like this? I got it. I got it. Remember <laughs> who we had shot <laughs> Pop that thing. There it is. That's how you take a shot. I bet you there's no damn wine. There was no liquor in that thing whatsoever. Dog. I'm about to be drunk as hell. <laughs> <laughs> this is a big win, man. It's a big win. It was the Come back. dub. Sean McDermott was in the locker room, you know what I mean, letting these guys break it down. And then Buddy said, hey, man, we're never too high, never too low. We're always right here. Always right here. Break it down on three. One, two, three. <laughs> big dubs. You feeling it, Rico? You feeling it? Big dubs, yes, big dubs, big dubs. Big dubs. We'll see, man. <laughs>